Hey everybody and welcome to the Everything VoiceOver Podcast. My name is Justin D. Torres. Uh, the Everything VoiceOver Podcast is brought to you by The Voice Realm, where only professional voice actors are listed. Okay, and now today on Everything VoiceOver, we're going to be talking about holiday buying and selling of voiceover equipment. Now, uh, we just finished off the old Black Friday, and soon's coming the uh, Cyber Monday, and then who knows what else is happening during December, but deals are happening, and you're going to want to try and be sure that you go to the right places and uh, be able to... uh, to be able to get the right deals, because to be honest, just the average average everyday Joe, when he goes out looking for voiceover equipment, he's pretty much got uh, only a few places to go, but luckily for you, uh, I've done a lot of research on where to get this uh, voiceover equipment, especially to have choices, is huge, so uh, make sure to listen in, and uh, we're going to be talking about selling your voiceover equipment, buying new or used voiceover equipment, where to get the deals, where to get amazing soundproofing stuff, and um, <clears throat> and uh, give you the right places to go to that won't leave you confused and without options. Because as much as I love Guitar Center, and they are great, Guitar Center is also uh, only utilized mostly for music. So... They do not know very much about voiceover. You might get the occasional person who's done a little bit of voiceover, but when it comes to the uh, to asking a person at Guitar Center, hey, what's good for voiceover? They may not be the, the end-all, be-all, or genius for that type of question. All right, let's start with the good stuff. Reselling. People don't really know this, but voiceover equipment sells extremely well, and it resells just as well. Uh, for the, for the, uh, higher end microphones, you can usually sell that at about 75% of the market value that you bought it. And that, and that might even be like a two or three year old microphone, maybe even four. When you get to the higher end stuff of, uh, Neumann, or you get to the, uh, Sennheiser, the big ones, then those ones are still pretty much, you know, if you bought it used, it'd be just about the similar price. Um, or at least two or $300 less than the, the original price. And, uh, and those things are ro- those things are horses. It's, it's it's amazing how Neumann and Sennheiser have kind of cornered the market and just created the perfect voiceover microphones. And if they release any new ones, uh, people still just use the old ones. Isn't that crazy? So they usually sell for about 50 to 75 percent of the market. And when you get to the mid range, we're talking the CADs and the Rhodes, and uh, you know even these. Uh, well, the, the blue microphones nowadays, they've got a bunch of blue ribbon microphones that are supposed to be really, really good. Those are selling at about 50 to 75% of their value. And that's great. So then when you do upgrade your microphone, and, and you should be looking to upgrade your microphone, I wouldn't say once every year, but I think as you get better and better at the act of voiceover, at some point you will have to upgrade the actual microphone depending on how good your microphone is and and if you are going by my setting up your own home studio you're starting out uh with a uh, with a lower end microphone and that's perfectly fine but as you get better and better you want to be able to get better and better quality sound so you should be upgrading to a mid level and then as you get good with that mid level and the money starts coming in jump it up to a higher level and and hopefully you'll see a difference. The The key is not to buy a thousand dollar microphone right out of the bat because because you won't know all the, the, the intricacies of editing and all this other stuff and you will have made this huge investment that you are hoping to get back and I can guarantee you it won't come back that easily or that quickly depending on how much you have invested. Um, yeah, yeah, um, what ends up happening, uh, and I do recommend this, that you do sell your voiceover microphone after you buy a new one. And now, now you're probably thinking, Justin, you know, what if my old mic, what if my new microphone breaks? Uh, at least I can have the other one as a backup. I do not recommend that. Unless you are utilizing the other microphone for something else, don't keep your old microphone. A backup microphone, especially if it is extremely less quality than the one you bought, like like twice as much money. Uh, you do not want to use two different microphones for auditioning and or jobs. And especially if you are working on a specific job, you don't want to use start using a Sennheiser when you are using a Rode. You know, you want to keep with the one you auditioned and you started the job with. 
So don't try and use two microphones. And a backup microphone is only useful if it's the same backup microphone. Now I know some of us think we're sound engineer wizards that we're going to be like, okay, maybe I can trick it by using the old microphone. <laughs> but that's taking a huge chance. And if anyone who's listening to, to it is a sound engineer, they will be able to see through our, our amateur stylings of trying to fix audio. Um, so I do recommend that if you do buy a microphone uh, as an upgrade, sell your old microphone, get some of that money back, and then I'll think of it as a sale for your other microphone. Now, uh, now I use two microphones uh, in my studio. This one that I'm on right now is the Blue Yeti, which I have reviewed on EverythingVoiceOver.com, and uh, and uh, the one that I use in my room is the Sennheiser 416. That's my studio microphone. I don't use that for the podcasts. I like using this this one, this Blue Yeti monster, and I'm totally fine with the quality of work that is on this one. But I don't dare audition with it. I use the Sennheiser for the other, for the auditions and jobs. Okay. <clears throat> now, uh, nevertheless, uh, you know, microphones do sell fairly well. Uh, places you could sell them are eBay. eBay is a great place. Uh, I sold my one CAD 100 e, E100S on eBay, getting about 75% of the uh, money for the, for the uh, microphone itself. Um, Craigslist is a good one, but you know, you never know who you're going to deal with. So make sure, and if you do buy it, make sure you test before you buy it. You never know what's coming towards you. Uh, there's also a really good group on Facebook called VO Gear Exchange. And, it, and of course you have to look for it and then you have to ask for permission to get on. But once you get on there, there's a lot of really great VO talent that are selling their old microphones because they're upgrading to new ones. And there's really good deals. And you know that the, since, since people in that Facebook group are really... Are, are actual voice actors that they're cared for and that they'll they'll work and you know it's a uh, voiceover community is pretty small so you can't I mean I'm sure there are people who screw other people over but I think it's pretty hard to do when it's such a small community um, you can get the highest return on investment from your from your gear from microphones you'll get you'll get a good amount and preamps if you got an old preamp it might be worth something to a to a newer voice actor, uh, if you've got a really nice preamp, those are, uh, I see those on uh, the voiceover exchange all the time, and you might be able to use those. Um, other things you can buy relatively cheaply used is uh, is uh, soundproofing equipment. You, you want to look on Facebook for things called sound panels, or even curtains from old... Uh, Old theaters, those are really thick, really nice, and they're great for great for old uh, for closets that you want to soundproof. They sound amazing. Local is better because you know if you if uh, I was living in San Francisco, um, they don't want to ship the thirty pound sound blanket or the thirty pound uh, curtains, and you don't want to pay shipping for that. So you want to look in the local section for soundproofing equipment because because it's going to be big, and you're going to want to get it yourself if you have a car. Um, yeah, also think, you know, there's other things you can think, think about selling, uh, uh, for your equipment as well, like your computer or, or other things, but, you know, like upgrading your computer is different and computers don't really sell, used computers in particular, lead, in, in particular, don't really sell as well as the microphones. All right, now would be a good time to say that the Everything VoiceOver podcast is brought to you by the Voice Realm, where only professional voice actors are listed. Now, as we come into the holiday season, we're all going to be looking for some great deals, and Black Friday just passed, and Cyber Monday's coming in. Uh, where can you find the great deals for voiceover stuff, voiceover equipment, and preamps, and computers, and all that kind of stuff? Well, the number one big one that has been recently happening, and it's all over voiceover exchange every now and then, is Mass Drop. Go to uh, MassDrop.com. What Mass Drop is, is uh, you sign up for... The, uh, as a member of the website, it's completely free. And what happens is you commit to buy uh, a, uh, an item at a certain rate, and as more people commit to buying it, the price goes down. They had an amazing, and, and, if, uh, and if you were a part of, if you're a friend of me on Facebook or, or a friend of everythingvoiceover.com, um, there was a spectacular deal on the Caddy 100S. It was like, I want to say 200 or something like that, maybe even less. And that's a great microphone to have, and it's a very good mid-level microphone, and it was a huge deal, and they ran it a couple of times, so I have no doubt that they'll actually run it again. 
Um, uh, right now, if you look on their website right now, there's uh, really good headphones, and of course there's $300 headphones, but if you're looking for studio monitoring headphones, even this, there's a couple of really good Sennheisers that will last you for a long time. Right now I'm wearing, while I'm listening to this, I'm wearing an AKG that was from Mastrop, and I've been really amazed by it. I think, I think it's great. I've been using it, and it hasn't degraded or anything, so I'm really happy with it. So Mastrop is a good one to check out. The other one that you want to look into is B and H Photo. That's uh, it's a uh, company that's out here in New York City, and and uh, I think there's only that's the only location is of B and H Photo is in New York City because I've actually been to the place and it's huge and it's got a whole voiceover section. Now this is a big difference between this and Guitar Center or Best Buy and all those. They don't have the stuff that B and H Photo has. <clears throat> We're talking about like. Sennheiser microphones, Neumann microphones. They have, they have. Uh, uh, you know, if if you're a person in New York City who's making films, they have all the uh, the red cameras and all the uh, 4K cameras and all those. So it's basically a uh, any high end equipment in New York City is is sold in at B and H for photo. So if you go to their website and I think it's B and H photo dot com. Um, they have a great website and they have a million microphones. And usually what you want to look for when you're at b and Photo is for bundles. Right now they have a couple of flash deals online, but there's a lot of them. And you got to kind of chug through them. And they have flash deals on, you know, laptops and, and other microphones and cameras as well. But uh, you want to look for bundled deals because when I had actually bought my Sennheiser, it was uh, bundled with a free recorder which was a really great recorder, a really high-end recorder, and it was just basically the price of the Sennheiser with the recorder added on. And when I bought the thing, I didn't realize it, but I actually got uh, the uh, recorder as well. And then I just ended up selling the recorder. So that was great. Um, another great uh, site is Adorama. Adorama is also in New York City alone, and they have more higher end, higher end stuff, and it might be a little bit pricier, but they do occasionally have bundled deals as well, so you want to go ahead and check it out. And if you're looking for very specific voiceover stuff, B and H Photo, I've been to them and I've gotten goosenecks from them, very specific uh, items that that literally isn't sold anywhere else. You might be able to get it at Sweetwater, but the thing about the difference between B and H Photo and Sweetwater and Guitar Center is that B and H Photo is specifically for you know um, the creation, the the actual technical side of video. Uh, whereas uh, Guitar Center and Sweetwater are more for music. So there is a huge difference there. Um, so you don't want to be limiting yourself to like Best Buy, who has the one microphone and the one mic stand, and they're both like kind of expensive. You want to get the good stuff. And, you wanna, and the only places you can get it, there was actually a pop filter that was only sold at B&H Photo for the Sennheiser that I got, and it's wonderful. As high, it came highly recommended, and you could only get it there. So, when you are looking for great deals, uh, and you're looking for an upgrade, go ahead and head to B&H Photo for their good uh, selection. And then, when you end off, and uh, the great deals of all time for all internet is usually the big three: Amazon, Best Buy, and Fries, especially electronic fries. And there's those are going to be more go-to's if you want to make upgrades to your computers, whether it be speakers or iPads to view the scripts or, you know, uh, the computers themselves or if you need uh, better monitors or better speakers, those are the ones that you're going to have to go to those for and those pe people know exactly what they need from that. And, uh, uh, you know, you won't need anything huge as far as a computer goes. When it comes to editing audio, it's not like editing video. It's not uh, terribly intensive. But uh, it does require, you know, a mid-range computer. What I would recommend is that some of, that the hard drive be at least one terabyte, because, you know, I mean, as you get further and further on, it does take up a fair amount of space. And if you're working with a 500 gigabyte hard drive, you may find yourself needing more room. And the one thing I hate doing is relying on a, uh, an external hard drive on a constant basis. So if you're going to be upgrading your com your uh, your computer or a laptop, or, you know, 
anything anything along those lines of the technical side go ahead and go for those big three amazon best buy and fries amazon will have its flash deals up best buy constantly has weekly deals and actually fries has weekend deals all the time and i don't know if that's only on the west coast but it's called electronic fries and i and uh, you can check out their website for those deals there but i know when i was living in california those that was a place i got a majority of my computer needs done now the end all be all right before we end off this pod uh podcast first first of all thank you guys for listening uh if you're looking for good soundproofing uh, equipment now this is something that i recently found and i've been using it for my vocal booth and it has been a godsend a, a godsend i recommend going to vocalboothtogo.com and looking at their acoustic sound blankets they are um, just huge curtain-like things, thick, maybe 20 or 20, 30 pounds, huge. And if you can get that, muscle that onto, into a closet on all sides, it would be, um, it's amazing soundproofing. What I have set up in my booth right now is I have four, uh, four acoustic sound blankets all around. I have it above me, uh, behind me, and on each side. So I'm surrounded by soundproof blankets that are very thick, very helpful and they do keep out the sound. It doesn't dampen it. It doesn't make it sound bad. It's definitely worth the time. And I think it's, and I think it's really brought the, my recording studio up an entirely different notch. So, uh, if you're looking to soundproof your studio and you know, I admit this is, this is a fairly pricey thing to get because it is, it is like, I want to say it's like 50, 60 bucks per piece. And the actual shipping is a lot because it's 30, 40 pounds of, of, legitimate blankets but if you're really trying to make that next upgrade and you're already trying to upgrade your microphone um a good thing uh to do is you know make your studio more soundproof and uh the one thing that i can swear by is that uh vocal booth to go has some really good stuff and it's definitely worth your time if you want to try and uh you know and close a closet does it work um outside no not really i mean if you could set up like a mobile closet it might work but i think it works you kind of have to dedicate a whole closet to it so that's something you have to think about you know okay this has been the everything voiceover podcast my name is justin d torres a big thank you to everyone out there who's been listening we've been pushed up to i think number four on the uh itunes podcasts thank you guys so much for listening in uh, this is huge support, and I, I love I love doing the website. I love doing the website, and I love doing the podcast. And a huge thank you to our sponsor, the Everything Voiceover Podcast. is brought to you by the Voice Realm, where only professional voice actors are listed. Thank you guys so much for listening. Be sure to head to everythingvoiceover.com, check out our website, be able to follow us at Everything V, and uh, check out our YouTube channel and our SoundCloud. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, happy, happy uh, holidays, and hope you get all those sales. Take care.